from NTA. All right, so welcome back. Every company is required to hold an annual general meeting within 18 months of uh, incorporation and then every year thereafter. Well, the annual general meeting is the highest governance organ of every incorporated entity. And the meeting provides an opportunity for members to discuss the operations of the company and to take steps to protect their interests. They can, at the meeting, discuss any matter relating to the conduct of the affairs of the company. And these affairs, of course, will include the financial statements that are usually read and adopted. And if there are matters arising, those matters, of course, are also decided upon. Stakeholders are also at the meeting kept abreast of the activities and operations of the company. And the meeting also will vote on other issues, including the election of directors who will serve on the board of the entity. All right, now to tell us more about Jai's Bank's annual general meeting and its fallout, I have with me, or we have with us actually the studio, uh, the managing director, Jai's Bank, Mr. Hassan Osman. So you're welcome to Good Morning Nigeria. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Right, so your uh, AGM held um, yesterday, I believe? Yes. Y yes, it did. What was the outcome? Was it uh, a rancorous meeting or was it a peaceful one? Because sometimes AGMs can be heated. <laughs> we, ha we had a very decent uh, AGM as uh, usual. Uh, we never had any uh, uh, rancorous AGM. Ours, it's uh, a family of uh, shareholders, directors and management that understand um, the aim and objectives, the vision and mission of the bank and also what it is uh, stands for and what it is supposed to deliver in terms of value to Nigerians, irrespective of uh, their faith and where they come from. All right. Uh, Islamic financing uh, is becoming more popular in Nigeria with uh, many more entrants in this subsector. Now, how can the government leverage on uh, this mode of financing to solve the problems of underdevelopment um, especially uh, involve uh, finance, marine, real uh, economy. Um, so you see that every activity or every finance that you have, financing intervention, are related directly to the economy, directly related to uh, infrastructure development, uh, creating jobs. Um, empowering people because you provide uh, transactions that um, are either uh, equity based, that is you are giving them capital to kick start their business or you are supporting them in acquiring physical assets that will uh, help them to expand their business. So this uh, mode of financing gives itself uh, um, to all various uh, economic agents, whether the government, um, their companies, private sector, individuals, and SMEs especially, uh, an opportunity to use the system to raise funding that will address infrastructure gap, for example, for the, for the economy. If you know that uh, within the last three years, the funding to address specifically roads. Now, what is interesting about this type of funding, which uh, if you contrast it with uh, ordinary bonds, is the fact 